Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be all about the pros and cons of print on demand. So I've already made another print on demand video which I will link somewhere on the screen and that was about sort of trying to choose a print on demand company if you're an artist. So I go through a few different examples of companies if you want to go and check that out. As I've been using a couple of print on demand companies now for a while, I wanted to do like a pros and cons list and some problems that I've had with it and hopefully some solutions as well. If you've no idea what it is, basically a print on demand company is somewhere you can design various different products. Like for example, I have my mug of tea on my desk. So this is one of the mugs. I'll try and show you without spilling hot tea all over myself. And this is using the company Printful. I really love the quality of the Printful mugs. It's just, yeah, it's so shiny. Yes, so print on demand is a place where you can design various different products. You can then sell these products or they can just be for yourself if you want to make like unique sort of like birthday and Christmas presents. So you don't need to order hundreds and hundreds of stock. So you can just put it on your shop and then when somebody buys one, the print on demand company will make that thing and then they will also do all the fulfillment. So they will package it and ship it off. So the first pro is that usually speaking, there isn't any upfront costs with print or demand. You're not having to spend hundreds or thousands of pounds on a product that may or may not sell. So there's usually quite a low risk. There may be exceptions to this. So for example, with Inkthreadable, you have to have some money that you put sort of upfront that when your orders come in, they use that money to then fulfill those things, you can actually get that money back at the end, which is good. You don't have to have lots of stock in your house, which is very good. You don't need to send the orders yourself because the print on demand company takes care of that. So if you don't want to be going off to the post office all the time, then yeah, that would definitely be a pro for you it can actually act like market research because you can sort of work out what is successful and what isn't before you spend lots of money creating a new product and like only two of them sell or something. You can see what works, you can make subtle changes to your design, you can get feedback from your customers and yeah you can sort of make changes and improve your products as you go on. Print on demand companies usually have a very wide range of products. They have mugs, they have bags, they have different items of clothing like t shirts and leggings and notebooks and beach towels and shower curtains and duvet covers. Yeah, so this is definitely a pro if you want to kind of experiment with trying out different types of products. You might not also want to do research into finding one company to do tote bags and another company to do mugs and another company to do t-shirts, for example. So I use both Inkthreadable and Printful, like I've mentioned. Both of these integrate with Etsy. Quite a few other print on demand companies do this as well, which is definitely a benefit because it means that you don't need to have five different websites for all your different shops. You can just direct your customers to one place. So there are some of the pros of print on demand. I have also got a few cons. Whilst there might be like a whole range of different products, sometimes it doesn't match up with a specific idea that you have in your head. Whilst I think that the quality can be really good, sometimes you just have like a particular product in mind or something that you really want that the print on demand company can't do. For example, there is a company that makes the most beautiful enamelware. They're called Emalco Enamelware. They would be my absolute dream to create a load of products with this company, but currently I just don't have the money to invest in that. But yeah, I think my goal is that I want to get enough sales in my shop at the moment 
and sort of create like a loyal fan base and then I can look into researching manufacturers directly. There might be quite a small profit margin in comparison to going straight to a manufacturer where you can buy in bulk and get things at a cheaper price per item. Yeah, obviously the cheaper something it costs to you, the more money you're going to make on it. Having said that, in order to buy in bulk, you usually need to buy quite a lot. Swings and roundabouts, isn't it? There is maybe a little bit less control as you don't get to see every order. you're not deciding how you want to package these. If I was packaging everything myself and I would quite like to sort of put in my own postcards. Sometimes I've done little freebies and stuff in my shop but if it's a print on demand thing you're not able to do that. Some print on demand companies are trying to make things a little bit more personal. So with Printful one of the things that you can do is you can customise the packing label. So you might recognise this illustration because it's at the end of all my videos now. They can only print this like packing sticker in black and white but it does allow you just a little bit more personalisation. Yeah and another thing you can do with the customization for Printful is you can actually write a little note inside so that's something that I've started to do just thanking the customers for their purchase. You have a maximum word limit, so you can't write loads and loads, but it's just a little bit of a nice touch. Obviously, if you're doing everything yourself, then you'd have complete control over the packaging. You could make sure that everything was really eco-friendly and you'd have complete control over like the branding and aesthetic, everything that would go inside the package as well. Sometimes items come separately. I've actually ordered two things which I ordered at the same time from Printful and both of those have come separately. It does have a note inside that will let the customers know that if you've ordered more than one item this might be sent separately. But yeah, ideally it's great if you get all your items together, isn't it? During busy periods the print on demand deliveries might be delayed. Over Christmas, I actually had to give a few people some refunds because even though their orders were placed in time for the Christmas period, there was a bit of a backlog. Um, this was actually with Ink Threadable, not with Printful. I do think Ink Threadable are a good company. They were very helpful in giving me a refund as well. Um, and obviously I gave my customers a refund, but it's just a little bit frustrating when something like that is out of your control. But yeah, when I've used Ink Threadable before, they've you know been quick with their delivery and the communication has been fine and the quality of the products has been good as well. So yeah, it was a little bit disappointing that this happened over Christmas. Yeah, if you're also worried about print on demands not being able to fulfill the orders during busy periods like Christmas, one of the things that you could do is order a couple of the products that you could have kind of as emergencies so that if like worst case scenario there's a huge backlog then you have got these saved that you can send directly out to the customers. Yeah so I think this is something that I am actually going to do. Yeah one of my friends also pointed out that Printful allow you to order samples of your mug which is actually 20% off the normal price and with free delivery as well. Yeah, so this next one is more of a tip really than a con and again something that I've learned through experience which is just because the mock-up looks okay don't just assume that the product is okay and that it's going to work on print on demand websites they will do amazing mock-ups you can get to see an idea of what the product will look like in the flesh I actually made the mistake of thinking that just before Christmas I could design a couple of embroidered hats, something that I had never done and I read all the information, I thought I knew how I could simplify one of my designs but it didn't really go to plan. It looked amazing on the mock-up, I thought everything was fine, I put it on my shop, I had a couple of people buy them and then I found out from Ink Threadable that it wasn't actually going to work and so I made my changes, it all seemed to be approved 
but then there were other complications. So I would definitely, definitely advise, make sure that you order a sample of it before you put it on your shop. I think I was just so fooled by the mock-up and it looked so amazing that I thought, oh yeah, that'll look great. Yeah, so going forward, I am always going to be ordering a sample of my product. Yeah, so even if it's a mug that I've ordered before or a bag that I've ordered before, but a new design, I'm gonna be ordering a sample of that before <laughs> I put it on my shop. Just, just, you know, to be on the safe side. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know your own pros and cons and any tips that you have as well for running an online shop. Yeah, I'm actually going to open the new products that I've got in my studio vlog. So if you want to see those, then subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye. I forgot what my point was. <laughs> what was I trying to say?